Now, I know how many of you enjoy the folklore stories. Now, I had a good one in store, but I couldn't tell it during the children's show because it was a little naughty. All the animals were a little naughty in it. And uh, it's all about leopard and monkey. Hello. Now, so it's uh, why the vervet monkey fears the leopard. Now, it's quite, it's quite a fun story. It's an Indabele story. Um, Indabele, actually, we can chat about the Indabele afterwards, but very interesting. They're actually, an offshoot of the Zulus who moved away from Shaka and ended up in Zimbabwe. So, leopard is one of the most vain animals in the bush. And one day, a leopard was lying on a big pod mahogany branch over a big, deep pool of water, admiring his reflection, just thinking how pretty he was. And a uh, hyena had come to tell Leopard a message and had been waiting patiently, but Leopard was so indulged at looking at itself that uh, hyena eventually went, giggle, giggle, just to get attention. He said, oh, hyena, what do you want? And the hyena said, well, there's a big competition about to happen between all the animals. A baboon has found this gourd, and our gourd is basically like a pot of cool, clean water and is offering a prize for anyone who can drink it in a day. Leopard says, well, that sounds a bit silly. That sounds like a very easy challenge. I don't know why there's such a big deal. But you know what? I might as well just go have a look. And Hyena ran off to go tell Hippo next, and... Leopard sauntered on, took it an hour or two, got there. All the animals, Stenbok, elephant, hippo, rhino, lion, were all there. Now, Leopard went up to his friend Lion and said, what's all this fuss about? That's not a particularly big pot of water. He says, I don't know. They say it comes from the human village on the other side of the river. And uh, it, Baboon is offering a massive prize. Uh, even one of his daughters in marriage, if you can drink it in a day. Now, Baboon is also one of the tricksters in the bush. And uh, so, just after Lion had an argument with Leopard, saying, well, Leopard said, I could drink that in 45 minutes. Lion said, I can drink it in half an hour. I'm bigger than you. Then Hippo stomped through and went, oh, <laughs> I can drink it in one sip, you little things. I can, I am the biggest. I'll drink it faster than Elephant because his trunk, he can only take so much. I'll just put it all in my mouth. So then there was much argument about who gets to go first because the prize was so valuable that they decided to draw, short, draw straws and Hippo won. Leopard was... This is all over before it began. This is quite boring. I left looking at myself to come for this nonsense. And uh, Hippo just got his lips to the cord. And he went... And he ran off screaming back towards the river. Now all the animals were shocked. What could be going on? And uh, Leopard was secretly pleased because he was number two. Now I can definitely win. Leopard walked up to the gourd, had a look at its reflection. It looked beautifully cold, clear water, took a big lick and went <laughs> and sprinted off to the river to go wash out their mouth. It's burning. It was on fire. Now, elephant tried, impala tried, kudu tried, buffalo tried, all with the same result. So eventually, the little vervet monkeys came up and said, I would like to try but only if I can lie down behind that termite mound for a few minutes in between each sip. And the animal's sort of, okay, okay, it's okay. We'll let it, let it slide. And uh, so slowly, after many hours, monkey would come take a tiny sip, go lie down for five minutes. Tiny sip, go lie down for five minutes. And now the gourd was about nearly finished, a couple of sips left. The animals couldn't understand. How could the little monkeys be able to drink this when not even the biggest and most powerful of creatures could drink this 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 water. Now, Leopard had sauntered back after clearing out the, the mouth after that burning sensation and climbed up into a big marula tree close by. And as Monkey was taking the last sip, sort of noticed some movement, sort of some more movement. And then as Monkey did its victory dance, 
and realized that there were about 35 monkeys, all hiding behind the termite mound. So Leopard leapt from the tree in a rage, screaming, you tricksters, you cheats, you frauds, you charlatans, I'm going to eat you. And all the monkeys scattered in every direction. And of course, the biggest problem is Leopard can climb. So the monkeys ended up on the tip, tip, tip of all the branches. And that's why the vervet monkeys prefer to stay in the tree, because they're really worried that Leopard is going to come back. He's still angry for their tricks, to, for their tricks that got them to win that competition. Of course, Baboon did not give his daughter away because they were cheating. Now, what they were drinking is something called Kichasu. Uh, kichasu, I've had Kichasu. I wouldn't recommend Kichasu. It literally will burn your, your face off. It is a, a very potent form of uh, basically like moonshine that is made out in the African bush from plants and also from sugarcane more recently. But it is very, very potent. But that's why monkey sits at the top of the tree away from leopard. Isn't that a fun story? Yes, yeah, so, and speaking of leopards, 